So this is part two of the Barbenheimer Judaism discussion. Started with the ops. Watch that if you want to. Now on to Barbie. Is she Jewish? Whoa. You deadass fam? You think the doll version of the most quintessential shiksa you can imagine could be Jewish? Actually, I do. The first tip off is the name. Barbie, short for Barbara. Barbara Streisand is the only Barbara I can think of, and she is a Jew. If you do some research on the name Barbara's etymology, it is apparently a Latin name, the feminine form of the barbarous, adapted from ancient Greek berberos, meaning strange or foreign. Who was strange and foreign to the ancient Greeks and Romans? That's right. The Jews. Also, well, actually I'm out of conspiracy stuff to say. I'll get to it. Yes, she's Jewish. Barbie was created by Ruth Handler, daughter of escaped Russian Jews, born Ruth Moskowitz, although her husband, who she got the Handler name from, was also Jewish. She realized there was a market for teenage or older dolls while watching her daughter, Barbara, play with paper dolls. Barbie was named after her daughter. All Jews. Let's go. Barbie's actual design was inspired by a German doll called Bild Lily, which I guess was from a comic strip where she represented a promiscuous young call girl described as a gold digger, exhibitionist, and floozy. This doll was not for kids. It apparently was marketed to adults as a little sexually suggestive gift you could give, which... Okay. Weird. Really, the main similarity was that it was an adult body doll made out of plastic. Regardless of the differences, you can find lots of articles from internet Nazis about how Jews stole Barbie from the Aryans. One of which I've included in the description because it's funny. More convinced by the internet weirdos than me? Don't worry. Let's go to the authorities on the matter. Barbie was banned in Kuwait in 1995, in Iran in 1996, in Russia in 2002, and in Saudi Arabia in 2003 for being Jewish, partially at least. Two of those are interesting because Russia and Iran both have sizable Jewish populations, and one of those is weird because Iran, for the most part, respects theirs. Regardless, they know she's Jewish. I have a quote from the Saudi religious police. Quote, Jewish Barbie dolls with their revealing clothes and shameful postures, accessories, and tools are a symbol of decadence to the perverted West. Let us be aware of her dangers and be careful. Which, you know, I guess, you know, makes perfect sense for Saudi Arabia that they wouldn't like Barbie. But Jewish Barbie dolls, they know. Anyway, Ken is also named after one of Ruth's kids. Also, a Jew. Conclusion, made by Jews, named for Jews, and for everyone, but originally for little Barbara, who was a Jew. I might see the movie. I bet it slaps. It was Bay who put me onto the Barbie movies, actually. If by Bay you think I mean a girl... You are sorely mistaken. I mean, a VTuber. <laughs> Margot Robbie, not Jewish. Ryan Gosling, not Jewish. Doesn't matter. Barbie, Semitic queen. Okay, warning, warning, warning. Here's some excerpts from the end of that Nazi article I was talking about. Quote, Jewish movie producers in Hollywood are finally getting around to making their own live-action Barbie movie, and you can bet your bottom dollar that this movie will be Jewish to its core, promoting Jewish values such as homosexuality, anti-white diversity, feminism, and transgenderism. 
another one from the end. Apparently, the central Jewish theme of the new movie is that Barbie has trouble fitting into her perfect life in Barbie land, just like the Jews have trouble fitting into white societies because they can never live up to white ideals and values. And rest assured, a sequel to this yet-to-be-released movie is already in the works, where Ken will be replaced by Barbie's new black boyfriend, a rapper DJ named Jamal, who helps her discover she's really a Jewish lesbian trapped in the body of a white heterosexual girl. Wow, dude. <laughs> Very normal article. Nice. That was... top tier. <laughs> Goodbye, y'all.